80,000 people will be diagnosed with non-Hodgkin lymphoma. 20,000 will die from it. It usually strikes people in their 60s, but can occur at any age. Yeah, and there have been several types of it, and the rarer the form, the less likely that you'll survive it. Now, this disease has been brought into the forefront after a popular actor was diagnosed just this year. As Wink News health and medical reporter Amy Osher explains, its new medication and novel therapies will give patients the best chance at beating it. He's battled prehistoric predators in Jurassic Park, but is now in an even more courageous battle. Sam Neill has revealed he is being treated for stage three blood cancer. Earlier this year, the 75-year-old actor announced he had angioimmunoblastic T-cell lymphoma, also known as AITL. My news um, seems to be all over the news at the moment. A new chemo drug put Neil in remission, but his diagnosis has shown a light on this rare form of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Sam Neil presented um, kind of right at the right median age of when most people are diagnosed with this. They commonly present with things like fever, chills, night sweats, some weight loss. Oncologists say there are promising new therapies in the pipeline for AITL. The first targets a biomarker in the Epstein-Barr virus that is also present in patients with AITL. They use a combination of drugs to kill the virus. We can get rid of the lymphoma cells because we think the virus in part drives the cancer. We're also very interested in see if we can uh, develop ways for that the own, your own immune system can fight this cancer as well. Two new therapies that could give Neil and others like him a chance to win against this killer. Amy Osher, Wink News. Now there's a lot riding on these new therapies. A doctor they heard from says only about 25% of people are alive five years after the diagnosis. Once you relapse with this disease, it's generally incurable.